Hello everyone, I'm Al Reed, Studio Director over at Demiurge Studios, and I'm going to be showing a bit of history of Shoot Many Robots. We started out about three years ago with the basics of a platformer. When we started out, we were going to make this a very physics-y based platformer with lots of puzzles using these robot corpses. Turns out, that wasn't actually very much fun. <laughs> uh, movement felt really crappy, and it was hard constructing interesting puzzles. Our next prototype was City Streets. It was a riff on the uh, classic run and gun, this time trying to capture some of the movement we were seeing in Mirror's Edge and Tony Hawk games at the time. This prototype played way better, but we felt the setting was a little ho-hum. As we later evolved our art style, we actually took this City Streets demo and turned it into our now junkyard level. One of the problems with this gameplay was that it was very high score driven, and when we added three players, the mechanics really fell apart. So we had to go back to the drawing board once more. We got to work on our art style next, and this video shows that starting to come together. We really wanted to make a world that was both familiar and unlike something you've seen before. So we pulled together elements like chainsaws with World War II style tanks and fused them into this modern idea of a robot. Uh, these robots you see here actually became the Mark I robots you see in the beginning part of the game before they begin to evolve. For our environments, we envisioned a Depression-era farm town sitting outside of a steel mill. You'll also note we don't have any lighting yet. This is what it all looks like put together at the end. It's interesting for us to look back and see what stood the test of time. Slide and jetpack are essentially unchanged, as is our aim down sights mechanic. The RPG systems were in those early demos, but all only running behind the scenes. It wasn't until we gave our characters the loot in-game that those mechanics really came to life. We moved away from the high-score combo meter gameplay into a highly cooperative dungeon crawl experience that I like quite a bit more. We had always wanted to do co-op, and had we started with that from the beginning, we would have finished our game quite a bit faster. Thanks for checking out the evolution of Shoot Many Robots. The teams at Demiurge and Ubisoft can't wait for you to play it.